Robert, let, I know it's the last question. This is the last question. We have Brandon here. We got Mar Marcos Maidana. All these guys that bring so much attention to Oxnard. How was it when Fernando Vargas was here? Was it any different? Was it even, you know, how was the atmosphere? It, 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 in it was team? different because it was like there was no, no, nobody else. And he was yeah. a local. So it was, it was, it was different because, uh, you know, since Fernando went to the Olympics, it was already big news here yeah. in Oxnard. Even though I was already a professional fighter, but, you know, the Olympics is just something big, yeah. different, you know, representing, representing his country from oh. Oxnard, small little town. Everybody, everybody, uh, everybody knew about it, yeah. you know. Fernando was young, 17, 18. You know, he got into a little bit of trouble in the, with the law and everything. So, so there was a lot of uh, a lot of everybody knew who he was, but there was a lot of people that kind of didn't didn't like that yeah. the fact that he was he was young, driving a, a nice brand new car wow. and bumping music all over Oxnard. <laughs> so a lot of people didn't like it. You yeah. know what I mean? A lot of people didn't like that, and that's why a lot of people kind of disliked Fernando. But hey, he was young. He was 17 already. Already, you know, making really good money from sponsors and stuff like that you know he turned pro you know getting good signing bonuses and and all that you know at, at, at 19 so by by 2021 20, he was already making millions he was already a champion he was already making millions you know what i mean so uh, so so let's fun. let's just be real you know <laughs> any 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 20 21 year old would go crazy having millions in your pocket and and that's one thing oxnard didn't support you know that 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 he got into a little bit of trouble and everything but who wouldn't, man? And all those people that were that that were that that always hated on Fernando. If if you gave them millions in their pockets, you know, at 2021, 20, they would probably make the same mistakes mm -hmm. or even worse. So they, you know, they, they can't, uh, you know, they gotta understand that too. But it, Oxnard would never really gave gave him that support. You know, there was a lot of real fans that would love them, yeah. but there was those that didn't really like it. But you know, he uh, he, he did. He became. He broke records. He's the youngest ever. Uh, U.S. national champion at 16, youngest ever U.S. national champion. Actually, they're never, they're, they will never be someone that breaks his record. Because now, now you got to be 17 to fight open division. Uh, so that's that. So he's got that record for the red for for you know unless they go back and change it to 16 again. But he his, he turned 16 in December. In January, he he beat every he, he won the U.S. national champions. There's very I don't I don't see anybody else doing that ever. And then he was also. The youngest ever junior middleweight until Canelo kind of uh, did it, you know, yeah. with the fight that kind yeah, of, they kind of gave it same. to him. Yeah, yeah. So it's not the same. You know, Fernando became the youngest ever uh, junior middleweight champion by beating Jordan Way Campas. At that time, Jordan Way Campas was the best junior middleweight out there. And Fernando went and beat him. Stopped him. Yeah. Fucked him up. Wow. And, you know, Canelo fought Ricky Hines' younger bro or brother who, you know, they made up that belt for him, you know, like a vacant title and shit like that. So it doesn't really... On the record, it is. He did break it, Fernando's record, but, you know, pride and, and, and honor, I don't think he feels that, that way. And fans don't see it that way either. You know, but uh, Fernando did it, man. Fernando did all, the, all those things that, that, uh, that uh, it's going to be hard for somebody else to do, man. Believe me. And I remember when, uh, when Fernando was like 15, we used to go to LA a lot to spar. And uh, Fernando sparred Yuri Boy Campos one, when he was like 15. Wow. And Yuri Boy Campos put a beating on Fernando. I oh, swear to God. And, and yeah, like easy. Well, it's not like he put a beating on him. He just made it look easy, like bad. He would even like, come on, little Olympian. I think you're an Olympian. Like he wow. was clowning. He was clowning Fernando. So on the way back, Fernando was fucking mad. All the on the, all the right back, Fernando was like, I'm a fuck. Dude. One day I'm a fuck this motherfucker. He fucking clowned me. Fernando was mad, dude. And then comes the day, the you know, a world title fight. And he Fernando, got him. Fernando fucked up. Jordan on the Kampas. biggest stage. He made Yorubu Compass quit, dude. On a big stage, HBO, he made fucking Yorubu Compass quit. Wow. Yeah. He made him, like, that's enough. Because Fernando was fucking him up. Yeah, that, was, that was big, dude. See, that was, that's a big win. Yeah. yeah. You know, beating somebody like Yorubu Compass. That was, that's a big win. Yeah. And, just, and that's just last message for the fans. What do you guys want to say? Yeah, just stay tuned uh, on the 24th. You know, we got uh, we got other fights like Red Catch, Red Catch. and uh, Mike Nen Perez Neno, Neno Mike fighting Perez Mike Perez the 20th, Neno the 17th here in Oxnard. Uh, we have uh, we Catch have fight. we have Alexander fighting on, on Brandon's card. Uh, 
Uh, so, you know, stay tuned, you know, but, you know, this is the big fight we're coming up. Yes, and, sir, uh, Robert's you know, a fucking busy man. Love, love, <laughs> love the support everybody's giving us, and uh, hopefully they continue to give us that support, you know. Uh, we uh, we know, and I, I just have that feeling, man. This this year is going to be probably probably one of my best years as, as a trainer because, uh, you know, we've had great years. You know, I've won, I won that Trainer of the Year award and stuff like that, and that's not even in my mind because I, I know there's so much politics mm -hmm. and so much, so much favoritism involved in those awards. All the time. But but, uh, but uh, you know, I think I have a great feeling, especially starting with Brandon and then Mikey coming back, Maidana getting a couple fights. You know, we already have champions like like Radovich and Cuellar. Uh, we have Mikey Perez. We have Mike Perez, the heavyweight. We have we have Red Catch that are. He's going to make a lot of noise. going to make a lot of noise. I have a good feeling about this year. I think this year, you know, this year is going to be our. RGBA year. I, I, I kind of guarantee that. By the end of the year, everybody's going to say, and I, I remember that video. RGBA. I remember that video that Robert said because I, I have a good feeling about this year. Yeah, I'm going to support RGBA all day. That's right. Always. always. I'll see you guys in Denver, man. All right, thank see you. you guys.